My name is Jim Brule, and I'm a Magid. That means I'm a special kind of Jewish storyteller, an inspirational storyteller. And today I'd like to tell you a story, but not from the Jewish tradition. In keeping with the theme of voyages, I'd like to tell you a Muslim story. It's one of my favorites, and it definitely has to do with voyages. And for those of you who are interested, uh, this comes from the Hadith, which means it's not part of the Quran, but it's part of the stories about the Prophet during, uh, during his lifetime. It seems that there once was an evil, evil man. Now, when I say evil, I really, I do mean evil. He, he had murdered 99 people. 99. But for whatever reason, he decided that it was time to change his life, to repent, to live a good life and to try and, and be the good person he should be. So he went to a sage, and he told the sage, Sage, I've, I've, uh, I've murdered 99 people, but it's time for me to change. What, what do I do? The sage looked at him. 99 people? Syria, you, you've murdered 99 people, and now you want forgiveness? There's no hope for you. Well, the murderer, hearing that, that there was no hope, decided to make it an even hundred and kill the sage. But his resolve returned, and he really did want to be a good person, so he found another sage. And to this sage he said, I'm a murderer. I've murdered a hundred people, but it's time for me to change my life, and I don't know how. What, what do I do? This was a very different sage. And he said, you know, it's actually very simple. The problem is that you don't surround yourself with enough good people. The man thought about it and had to agree. So what you need to do is to find as many good people as you can and surround yourself with them and live with them. And then your life will change. And perhaps in his infinite mercy, Allah will forgive you. Well, the man thought another moment and said, well, I, I'll do that. I'll do that, of course, but I don't know where to find so many good people. And the sage says, well, you see that road over there? At the end of that road, there's a village. And in that village are only good people. And they're some of the best people around. So if you'll go live with them, then you'll be able to change your life. Well, the man thanked the sage profusely and headed down the road. And after some time of his walking, the angel of death came and took his soul. And immediately an argument broke out between the angels of heaven and the angels of hell. The angels of heaven said, his soul is ours, he should come to heaven. He repented. What more can Allah ask for? And the angels of hell said, repent. All he did was take a left-hand turn and walk down a road. He hasn't done anything differently. They argued and they argued and they couldn't, they couldn't figure it out. So what do they do? Of course, they go to Allah, the great, the merciful. And he had a very simple solution for him. He said, just go down and measure the distance between the sage and the town. And if the man has traveled more than halfway, then he goes to heaven. And if not, he goes to hell. Well, the angels had to agree that this was a very, very reasonable decision. Of course, what else could it be? And so they decided to go down right away and measure the distances. 
before they could get there. Allah changed the world. Changed the world so that the man was more than halfway. And the sages ask, how far would he have had to go along that road in order for Allah to change the world? One step. One step. And that's a story about an amazing voyage. Thank you.